The committee concluded the first part of its public hearings on Monday, the 4th of September. They reclined to review a new tape they had acquired. In that period, the police council interdicted the three officers who had appeared before the committee. The council later suspended the interdiction. According to the chairman of the committee, Samuel Atacha, the decision to interdict the officers in the first place was unfortunate. I'm very glad that the police service realized that um, what they attempted to put out that people who were testifying, I mean, in, in, uh, in a, a parliamentary inquiry should be interdicted. Uh, it was unfortunate because at the end of the day, somebody might even say that it tantamounts to um, evidence gagging and intimidating and blackmailing witnesses. So if they thought it wise that they should suspend the um, uh, interdiction to abide the outcome of the parliamentary inquiry, there's all the wisdom of the moment that's one. It's good for everybody. The committee, after reviewing the content of the new tape acquired, has decided to re-examine all four witnesses called earlier. Samal Atachi also indicated that the committee will reconvene on Tuesday, September 12th to continue with its work. The calling all the witnesses who've come before us, uh, Chibugri Nabu, uh, Supreme Nassari, Commissioner Mensa, and then we also want to bring along Inspector General of Police. It's going to be in camera because we are now delving deep into the evidence and some of the evidence might have national security implication. Most of the things we are going to do now will be in camera, unless it's obvious that it has no national security implication and therefore it could be aired. The allegations against the IGP, as has been said, should be substantiated. If you pay right. regard to um, and what was going on, they were not substantiated. And we right. believe that if there are very grave allegations against the IGP, they should be substantiated in camera.